Welcome ATDP Elementary Division community. My name is Christine Gerchow and I am ATDP's new program director. It's already July and we are under two weeks away from the start of our first ever virtual online program for ATDP's elementary division. Soon, you're going to join the more than 800 students from our secondary division who have been participating in online classes since June 22nd. During this brief video, I would like to share a little bit of history and express gratitude. I will then touch on ATDP and how we're functioning in this new virtual environment. Finally, I'm gonna provide some reminders and tips about how to have a successful summer. First, the history and gratitude. Back in March, when we first entered into shelter in place, we were unsure about what summer would look like and whether we could even deliver a program. Thanks to the persistence and dedication of ATDP office staff members, our tech support lead and our tech trainer, and thanks to the willingness, flexibility, patience, and dedication of our instructors, ATDP's elementary division, redesigned in about one month, is being offered virtually this summer of 2020 and has 718 students enrolled across 35 classes. This is no small feat, and we are thrilled that you're a part of it. Indeed, without you, our students and families, we'd have no program. So thank you for joining us in this uncharted territory. With that, I'd like to review some points about summer 2020. First, ATDP remains committed to its mission. We believe that our core mission to enable all highly motivated and prepared students to pursue their academic passions through challenging summer coursework in a community of like-minded peers. We still have that mission and we still believe that it can be executed and achieved through remote instruction. Number two, we continue to emphasize active and collaborative learning. As a program, we maintain commitment to community, connection, and collaboration, whether it's through a screen or in a classroom. This is one reason all of our classes have a minimum synchronous instruction requirement. Number three, same rigor, different format. Though our circumstances have changed, our commitment to deliver effective instruction has not. We recognize, whether online or on site, the building blocks of learning endure. Design challenging learning goals, implement learning activities with clear criteria for success, and identify the feedback that students need to be successful. Planning well ahead of summer, many of our teachers made adjustments to their courses, all with the objective of maintaining quality and rigor in this virtual format. So yes, although much has changed at ATDP, much remains the same. With that, I'd like to briefly talk about how to get ready for the summer. I know that you've received a lot of email from us, but one of the key mailings that I would like to call your attention to is our snapshot. In the ED snapshot, you will find key links to resources such as our elementary division online student guide, the online learner readiness rubric, the technology checklist, which I highly recommend that you complete in advance of the first day of class, a list of Zoom hints and tips, as well as our Zoom classroom rules, a resource about remote learning frequently asked questions that parents or guardians may have, as well as an online safety guide that we found from Google. We also have resources for parents and guardians, including a document entitled How to Support Your Elementary Division Student Through ATDP's Remote Summer, and a list of fun family learning activities. Thank you to our counselors who helped prepare these documents. The snapshot also has key information related to technology support. Specifically, it reminds you to ask your co-instructor or instructional aid for assistance. If those people are unable to support you in one to two minutes during your class, please call ATDP's tech support hotline at 510-781-9550. Here are some other thoughts as you get ready for our first day of class. 
Number one, please report to class on time. One of our instructors recently observed that the Zoom waiting room is sort of like the line walking into the school building. You need to arrive and be ready for class online just like you would be on site. Log into your Zoom classroom five to 10 minutes early and perhaps you'll be in waiting in the waiting room. Make sure your supplies are ready and your assignments have been completed. And you also can do your best to make sure your learning space is ready in terms of lighting and quiet or any other things that help you to be able to pay attention as best as possible. The second thought I'd like to bring your attention to is that one size doesn't fit all. Remember, our instructors may provide their live direct instruction in different amounts and on different schedules. No class is required to have live direct instruction for all three and a half hours. Number three, breaks matter. Get up, move, drink water, have a snack. Many of you have been learning online for months, so it's all the more important to give yourself a break away from learning attention and screens. That said, if you're looking for some activities that can help you to engage in exercise, dancing, or yoga, there are some fantastic online resources, including Just Dance, Cosmic Kids Yoga, and Kids Bop Dance Along. So as I conclude my video, I hope that you enjoy the videos to follow in this first ever online elementary division orientation, especially the videos from our site supervisors, Lisa Levy and Greg Santiago. Again, I welcome you or I welcome you back. For all of us, even the most veteran staff among us, Carrie Brown, our assistant director who's been with us for more than 30 years. This is all of our first summer online. We are in this together. So I wish you a fantastic three weeks and go Bears. Hello parents and welcome to 2019-2020 ATDP session, summer session. My name is Greg Santiago, administrator with Lisa Levy, site administrator for the elementary division. For those of you who are seasoned participants or if you are new to our program this summer, it will look very different due to the pandemic. However, you can still expect your students to experience great instruction that will keep them interested and intrigued all summer. We have worked hard to put together a program that is stimulating and cohesive for all of our students this summer. We look forward to working with your students and learning with them during the program. So here's what you can expect. Your student's class is scheduled to meet for 3.5 hours per day. Please note that due to Zoom screen fatigue, among other issues, your student's class may not be composed of exactly 3.5 hours of real-time direct instruction. It is up to your student's instructor to determine how the class period will progress. So for instance, there may be direct instruction followed by an independent activity or project, and then a break, and then the cycle will repeat itself. Of course, individual classes may be structured slightly different. So please look for further direction from your instructor. Letters from the instructor will be posted on your online account as of June 29, 2020. ATDP teachers will be utilizing Zoom for direct instruction and most will be using Google Classroom to post assignments and provide individual feedback. Direct instruction times will vary according to grade level. For grades K through two, the required minimum will be 25 minutes of online direct instruction. For grade three through four, I'm sorry, grade three through five, it will be 35 minutes of direct instruction minimally. And for grade six, it will require a minimum of 45 minutes of online direct instruction. As you know, HEDP is an academic program. It's not a camp or a drop-in program. Daily on-time attendance is required. Students will be expected to actively participate in class meetings in order to complete projects and assignments as assigned by the teacher. We do understand that occasionally something may happen to prevent your student from attending on a particular day. Should that happen, you are asked to notify both the teacher and the ATDP office at atdpoffice at berkeley.edu in writing to explain the absence. 
Please note, excessive absences may result in your student being dismissed from the program. In many of our classrooms were required course materials. Some parents will receive notice by email that they will need to come to Washington School, the traditional home of ATDP at 565 Wine Street, Richmond, California, 94801. Materials will be distributed by grade levels on July 5th and July 6th from 10 to 2 p.m. Please make sure that you know the name of the class your student is enrolled in and when we will direct you to the spot to pick up your materials Please roll down a window and we will hand the materials over to you. Class materials may include a letter from the teacher explaining the course and included will be their contact information. Otherwise, as we have said, a letter has been posted on your online account. Should you have questions or concerns, teachers will be reaching out to you. To further clarify their course and the times and ways for you to ask whatever questions you may have. This may include Zoom parent meetings or a dialogue by email. Further details will be included in the letter you receive from your student's teacher. Evaluations. Like every year, you will receive a written evaluation from your student's teacher describing the progress and performance during the course. These reports will be sent directly to your home and after the, after the conclusion of this program. Should you need to contact ATDP during this time or any time during the course over the summer, you can reach us as followed. ATDP office at berkeley.edu for general questions about the program attendance, payment, and other issues. You can reach Ms. Levi, site administrator at LLEVI at WCCUSD.net. You can reach me at GSANTIAGO at WCCUSD.net. And the website mentioned earlier, ATDP.berkeley.edu, which has all of this information online for your convenience. We look forward to having a great summer with you and having a great, wonderful learning experience. Thank you. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Katie Marchese. I am super excited to be taking on the role of Educational Technology Trainer for the Elementary Division. I am also co-teaching those wonderful Simple Machines, and this year I created an extra special Wednesday exploration called Boss Kid, which is a look at entrepreneurship for kids. I am super excited to be remote with you this summer. Um, I am very passionate about educational technology. And in my regular job, I work as a special education teacher. And I am also a technology leader in my school district. I think that technology is a gateway to making learning accessible for everyone. It also can be a great way to be collaborative from a distance. So. This summer, as we're drifting into the remote world of learning, I cannot wait for you guys to enter your classrooms. I know that you're gonna have an amazing experience with ATDP this summer, where you can be in a classroom with other kids who care about learning and that is collaborative and innovative and just plain fun. I look forward to meeting you all and I'll see you in class. <laughs>